<laughs> I agree to today is another day of tell Tessie as soon as I know I hope say everybody did do well and that the grace of our Lord Jesus a day with all of now. But thing I want me to know we say no matter what problem that you have, God is always with you. He will answer you when you least expect it. So make everybody, make nobody, no few say it don't be forgotten. Just open your mouth and ask. Open your heart. Tell your problems to the Lord. He never forsake his people. And you will not be an exception. So, no matter what situation you are in, no matter what you might be going through, just know that Jesus, our Lord, will do it. Like he has done it, like he has always done it, and he will do it all the time. Just open your mouth and ask. So, today, I will continue talking about marriage. Marriage is, is something, it's a topic that has been like pricking everybody's mind. I don't know whether everybody looks at it the way I do. But these days, nah, the kind of marriages where they see. The problem is, there are so many kinds of marriages these days. It is not all about, I am married, I have my man, I have my woman. What are you doing? to make it work what kind of marriage are you marrying marriage these days a condition marriage is hmm? it is either you are marrying because of of Bali or <laughs> you marry because of Bali or you just feel say okay I am ripe, or I need somebody, or I have to hurry. Time is passing me by. This day's marriage get condition. All of us come to Europe now for come survive. It is survival of the fittest. You are marrying because the woman get pali, or because the man get pali, or you are marrying him because you love him. If you are marrying these conditioned marriages, just know that it will not last. You are building on sun. And sooner or later, you people will start finding faults with each other. I get my man, I get my woman. It's not all about it. What I see these days outside here, mm, nah. you know, Daisy, sometimes, eh? When you talk now, they go talk, say, hey, they talk because you're there alone. You know, you know, marry, you know, girls, man. You know, they buy us one for market. And even if you just look some of these marriages out here, self, you just know, say, it's it a traumatized person. You have to ask yourself first, why am I going into this marriage? Is it because I love my husband? Is it because I love my wife? Or is it because of interest? You marry today, tomorrow you guys start having problem. Because the marriage is not based on love. It is based on materials. You get married, you don't respect each other. You don't give each other worth. You don't know that this is what I have to do and this is what I don't have to do. Uh, sometimes I don't even know how where to start. 
Because all this, I'm married. I get my husband. I get my wife. If you see them outside, huh? Englishmen say their eyes are the gateway to the heart. Look them, kuro kuro. Look them from inside eye. You will know what they are going through. You will see they are not happy. And when a marriage is like that, even though you do how, it will not work for too long. It will not work for too long. Even though I know that some other parties will say, I, I have to do all, I have to put everything to make sure I know my marriage works out. What do you want to put? What do you want to do inside that marriage? Because from the beginning, you never even just ask yourself why you did marry. You know, ask yourself why you did marry now, all because you won't show, say, I get husband or I get wife. So when you go into the marriage, before you start trying for it to work, they throw water for the fire back home. Because it will not work. Fine. When a woman is married or when a man is married, if it is not working, you have to make sure it works. But when you try and call, you know work. What you go do? You not go do anything because the marriage you know be based on love. Make you have mercy, you have mercy. Nah, I just come eh. You know, see this one my idea hot. I want pali. I need pali. I don't care you bow daki. I just want person. I want person. I don't want to waste time for this place where I did so. I don't want to waste time at all. So I need person though. That's so why you will carry your head. Hmm? You go to look around, look around, look around. You find woman. You go carry. Get a reason why you get married. Is it because you are ripe? You define pali? Or. I don't know what you did do. But what I did take the beg God. I just beg. Eh? Makachuku. Make una have pity. Whatever and whoever you decide to get married to, have mercy on the soul of that person. Do I'm sorry. Eh? Learn to love each other. And learn to appreciate each other. It matters. In a marriage or in a relationship, those who don't marry and those who never marry, before you choose a partner or before you are in a marriage, look your partner deep in the face. Ask yourself, do I love him? Do I really want to marry him? How is it going to look like when we stay together? Don't just go into it because you think the time is ripe for you to do it. Don't go into it because you think it's ripe. Because that will be the error that you'll be making. Go into it because you love your partner. A marriage that is built in solid love will be a marriage that will last. A marriage chosen by two people that love themselves. It will work out. Because when love comes, every other thing will follow. But when our interests come from the beginning, if you like, you enter inside, you try to me, you put love, you know, go walk. Because interest don't be in front. So, I beg. We could not just take an easy, whatever thing we person decide for do. Whoever you decide, you won't marry. We could not marry. Wives, love and respect your husbands. You know what I mean? Say, because you come, we will take and say, okay, now, pali, the man can't find. But with time again, if it's still be, say, start to they love you. Huh? But we women with it like this, eh, sometimes it will enter your head till you don't know what you want to do, safe. Eh, let me I give you pali. The time will come this country, what you get? You don't get anything. Useless man, idiot. You'll be who safe. Because now you give up pali. You go persevere. Oh. <laughs> but when he collects, you don't sorry. Sorry, we say you don't run. You don't run, be that. If you like, you find out with touch. <laughs> you don't go come. 
I think they cry, they go, when they cry, they go. Women do the pompous, they do the, the carry body. Because they give us money. Because they walk, they feed them. Because they do this one. Eh? Now, because you want to say you be man, now, now maybe they do all that work. Because if you know, say you be woman, you will cook, calm yourself down and make the man take care of you. But if you want to show, say, now me, I did. That's what the man said, we just pipe low, you go collect. Go just collect. Go clean you, finish. He drop you like dry fish. Hmm? Then it's sorry to go. Now, nah, anyhow, hmm? life must continue. Eh? Nobody kill anybody. Hmm? But you no know, kill you, go still make you strong. No, not take an easy shot. Yeah? Now, another weekend, eh, we do. No, not take an easy. Make you enjoy your life. Life is too short. But make enjoyment get limited too. Because. <laughs> if you enjoy it too much, the one way will carry you go. Let me say, yeah, I don't gas me that. So, make could not take that easy. Mm -hmm. Please, learn to love one another. Learn to love and respect your husband's wives. Because now, see, we Bible talk. What are you to give up? What are you to feed them? Are you choose her? So, if you don't choose to do from the beginning, you will do to the end. Okay? So, may the Lord continue to strengthen you couples i pray for those that have got problems that you you find a way and again in a relationship dialogue will be very important if any problem they we gonna sit down we gonna talk women wanna know how to take care of our men who who carry pride put for front where they look you back and front safe you don't get anything you don't know where you come from but now mouth now you carry so we gonna take Everything easy. Respect your husband. Whether he gets or you no gets. Hmm? A good wife is the pride of every man. So be a good wife and make your husband proud. Thank you very much for today. I wish you all a nice weekend. And take good care of yourselves. And God bless. Have a nice weekend. From Tessie. Mm. I love you all. <laughs>